These are leaked images from China. The masses of phones are programmed to deliver clicks. And China has a click farm problem. Click farms are a cottage industry where hundreds if not thousands of phones and computers are programmed to view an article, click an ad, or watch a video for the customer. And right now, that industry is booming. According to the South China Morning Post, one third of all traffic generated is due to click farms or bots. And currently, the customers are everyone. Shop owners wanting higher search page rankings, politicians wanting more followers, singers, artists. When the commodity is clicks, people will pay. This is Crystal. So, what do we want today? A Yahoo Finance <laughs> reporter who can also speak Chinese. I had her translate this video. So, this is a video about China's click farm. The guy who appears to be the owner of the click farm is telling people that his operations can help them to sell goods to overseas and also add clicks to their videos. Um, he's also saying that this is actually a relatively smaller operation for them. Larger farms like this can house over 17,000 phones at the same time. As of 2017, advertising was a $50 billion industry in China. But if the US and EU corporations feel like they're getting scammed, they may pull out their advertising dollars. And this worries the Chinese government. It doesn't help either that Thai police recently raided a WeChat click farm and found over 300,000 SIM cards. Hung Bei, the founder of Admaster, a company that monitors site traffic, says, in the past, we've detected more than 100,000 phones that kept accessing a website from the same geographical location in Shanghai for a whole day. Since then, the Chinese government has officially launched a campaign to stamp out e-fraud on e-commerce sites like Alibaba and the e-commerce competitor JD.com, which have all seen fake reviews and transactions posted by their vendors as a way to boost their sales. Amendments made in China's existing anti-unfair competition law mean that such fraud is now punishable by a fine around 300,000 US dollars. But the problem so far hasn't slowed much. In fact, to people in China, this information is probably old news. The click farm industry has moved on to something almost equally as cheap, but harder to detect, humans. China at scale is 1.3 billion people. And right now, the value of human capital remains low. Large click farm companies have switched to paying out cents on the dollar to humans, who will click a page or watch 30 seconds of a video. At this moment, bot farms are quickly being turned into human click farms. And this is much harder to detect or eliminate or even declare illegal. It would mean legislating how humans sell their consumption time, something even the Chinese government appears uneager to do. And so the problem of social currency inflation in China and other developing countries continues with no end in sight.